All barricades erected. Area locked down. Yo, yiggity, yo, this is Agitated Monkey bringing you another gameplay commentary on Modern Warfare 3. Um, this is, uh, for those of you who aren't um, watching this on my personal channel, watching this on T-Dog, um, this is technically going to be my first upload. I was trying to upload um, a video before, which is a 24 and 0 flawless gameplay, um, and it's kind of announcing that I'm on TDOG now, and... Uh, but uh, that it's really complicated. But pretty much, that's not going to get uploaded because there's just too many things. Like I had to re-edit something, and then um, the video that I sent in, and then when I sent it in, it was too big for um, the guy who runs TDOG to uh, download it, and so it's just really confusing. So I'm just like, you know what? Whatever. Don't need to upload it. Well, I upload it on my channel, so you guys can see it on my channel. Um, if you want to see it. Uh, anyways, to get to the topic, this is a commentary which is going to be episode three of the series that I'm doing um, which is called my life stories and uh, what I talked about in the first two you guys will have to see on my own channel um, but uh, since you has a recap I talked about parents and divorce and stuff and how I'm dealing with that and how you know everything is really good and okay um, just kind of telling you guys a little bit about it um, and then I remember saying at one point in there that I wanted to talk about, um, at one point, my grandparents and spoilage and stuff. And so I'm going to tell you some stories um, right now that is uh, stories from what my grandparents have done with me. So one of the ones that really sticks out to me um, is with my grandpa. So I'll just give you a little bit of a rundown of my grandparents here. Um, this is my grandma and my grandpa on my dad's side. So this is my dad's grand uh, parent, my dad's parents. Um, I have like like I've said before like four sets of grandparents, but um, this is my dad's parents, and um, both of them are just so special to me. Like it's it's ridiculous. Like you know how I, I'm always bragging. I have bragged about how you know I am a mama's boy, and I'm proud of it. I'm plain and simple. I will brag about my grandparents too. Like they are seriously the coolest grandparents I could ever ask for. Um, they're not like old, like I don't know. Like I think grand parents and the stereotypical grandparent would be one that's just like kind of sitting in a rocking chair all day long knitting or something strange like that um by the way you know i don't know why i just thought about this but something for you guys to think about that's really kind of creepy have you ever thought about grandparents like doing it it's so gross to think about and like also what if like like do they even still do it? like at what point would they stop like w would it be you know the grandpa doesn't isn't able to get a boner anymore is you know are they end up do they end up taking Vic or not Vicodin um uh Viagra or, or what you know like I don't know just something to think about for you guys that was a really gross and creepy diversion but something I thought about anyways back to the coolness of my grandparents um I'm not gonna think about what I just said while I'm talking about them it'll just make it a little creepy so um yeah so I totally actually lost my train of thought with that. Anyways, my grandparents are awesome. My grandpa, he's from New York. Um, that's where he was born. His, he, so he's got brothers and stuff in New York. Um, that uh, One of them or two of them still live in New York, and then he lives next to his uh, closest brother, uh, Richie. And he, they, they both live in Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, which is where I really like, wanted to living because it's so nice up there. But um, so And he's like, so he's just kind of, you know, got the New York accent. I grew up with him. Um, for like the first three years of my life, we uh, lived in with my grandparents um, up in Idaho. And so at night, like if you might notice this at some point um, in a commentary, but uh, at night when uh, I'm talking, I'm like really tired or whatever, I, I have like a New York accent. So um, it's pretty weird just because, you know, I grew up with my grandpa who has his New York accent, so it kind of stuck with me. Um, anyways, uh, so that's my grandpa for you. And he, he is the one that does the major just spoilage, like... Um, which I'm going to tell you a story about here in a second, and like with candy and all that stuff. And my grandma, give back on my grandma, my grandmother is such a sweet lady. She's so nice. And she, uh, I like, she's such a good person to me because we, I'm uh, writing a book. Well, I'm writing three books currently, actually, but I'm going to talk about that in like a later commentary because um, this is it's not really a story. But uh, anyway, so she just, she helps me with those all the time. Like she helps me edit them. She tells, gives me suggestions on them. And she reads a lot, so she knows what she's talking about. Um, and, but she's just really fun and she is a technological guru. Like this lady, oh my goodness. So she has every new little 
Apple thing that comes out, she has it. And it's so strange. Like she has, I think, three iPods. She has an iPod fourth gen, an iPod first generation. She has um, an iPad. She has an iMac that is like massive. It's like a 24, no. Yeah, I think it's a 24 inch or maybe even bigger. It's a huge Mac. Um, she has that. She plays games on the Mac. She doesn't play like cool Call of Duty games like that. She plays these like search games and stuff, but they're still cool. Um, and so she has that. And then she has like a Palm Pilot and she has um, like, all these things. She has two cell phones. Um, one is her house cell phone and then one is her cell phone that she takes with her. And it's just like, she's such a little techie and it's so awesome. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's my grandmother for you. That's, that's over with my grandparents. So um, one of the stories that I think of right now with my grandpa and spoilage is um, is up when I used to live in Walla Walla. There was a time when my grandpa uh, came up. He actually moved to Walla Walla from Idaho um, because uh, my dad is a, is a dean of a dorm. And one of the deans stepped out of dean he resigned or something like that and um and so they needed to find a dean really badly and they and it was like middle of the year so just like really that sudden and my grandfather um used to be a dean over at la sierra university um where my dad went to college and so pretty much you know my dad lets him know and he's like you know there's a job opening would you be down to come down and he's already retired and stuff but he said yeah i'd come down so my grandpa shows up the next day because he's just like that he packs his little suitcase and comes up the next day, and he just, he lives, like, right across, like, um, we lived in a house, it's like a red brick house, as I call it, um, right across from the dorm, and then there was a house inside of the dorm, that's where, like, the, um, uh, uh, the main dean, or one of the deans stayed, so that's where my grandpa stayed, and um, so he just lived there with us uh, for, like, a year, year, year and a half, something like that, and it was really just a really fun time, but... I remember there was this one time, and he still brings it up. Um, so we were sitting in church, and uh, and so we were passing notes, me and my grandpa were. And so then I wrote a note to him. Uh, he tells the story better because I don't really remember it because I was really little. But I said something like, "So, um, uh, are you down to spoil me today? Are we, you know, are you able to spoil me today and stuff?" And so then he's like, he asks me a question. He's like, "Oh, do you think I should?" And so I respond to him. So is that a yes? And he couldn't resist it, apparently. Um, he's a sucker for little kids. Like, when well, my little brother, Gage, she just, if, if you get Gage on Skype with my grandfather, oh, they, they, they Skype us, like, every day, too. Um, if you get Gage on Skype with my grandfather, and Gage does something cute, he literally packs his bags and drives all the way to California from Idaho. Like, he, he's a sucker for cute kids kind of thing. Give him a dog, and he will just, like, almost stomp on its head. But, you know, that's a different story. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, he couldn't really say no to it, and so he invited me over. And so we, I went over to his uh, to his little apartment house thing, and I hadn't told my dad or anything, and they didn't know. So they were apparently looking for me while I was showing my grandpa, but I didn't really get any bad from that. They just kind of laughed it off. They were just worried a little bit. And the, so my grandpa gave me this bag, like massive bag of um, oh, what are they called, Reese's pieces. He just gave me like a huge bag of it, and. I did not, you know, as a little kid, I did not have any sense of health or what is a good amount to eat without getting totally sick. So I ate Reese's Pieces, like, nonstop for about two hours while we were watching TV and a movie and stuff. And, oh my goodness, I, I have not, I've yet to actually enjoy Reese's Pieces ever again. Like, I've tried it before. I mean, this is seriously at least, like, eight years ago, and I still can't eat Reese's Pieces. Um, so, like... <laughs> It kind of spoiled that for me, but my grandpa, he told, he tells me, um, you know, he's like, well, you're an idiot for eating all that candy, and I'm like, but grandpa, you gave it to me, and so then he's like, he, he still to this day will not, you know, admit the fact that he, he's the one who gave it to me, so that I just took it, but it's a blatant lie on his part, but, you know, it was, it was still fun. I just remember the experience, and I thought it was so much fun just to be able to go over there and, and hang out with him. Another really gross one that's happened very recently, actually, um, like two years ago, I think, um, so my grandpa came down, and he, he likes he, he loves salt on everything. Like, he will salt his macaroni. He will salt his hot dogs. He will salt everything, and it's ridiculous. He's going to die of a heart attack or something. But, um, so he just loves salt. And so, obviously, he, I mean, you know, potato chips are extremely salty, so he loves those. So he comes, drives down um, uh, one for, like, a week or something, and he asks me to go out into the car and grab something. And so I go out to grab something. I think it was, like, a bag or something. 
and uh, I see these potato chips like sitting there and then I saw a bunch of potato chips in a bowl too and so I figured well he probably just poured them out so we didn't have to keep reaching into the bag so we eat a couple of the potato chips but then I was just like this is weird because they, don't, they weren't really salty and so I, I wasn't sure if like because it was weird for him because I wasn't sure if he got in like a non-salty kind or something but it just seemed very strange to me but oh I'm sorry the uh, thing went dim there for a second but um, anyways yeah, so it was just like really weird to me. I go back inside and I talk to him and stuff. And here it is, and I was like, "So are you eating like you know non-salty chips?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, "Well, there's chips in a bowl." So he puts his head down and he starts laughing so hard, and I had no clue why. He like literally, he starts tearing up. Like he does this like laugh where he cries. It's really funny. But um, so he's laughing. And I'm just like, "What?" And he's like, "Those were not chips. I, I had already used those chips." I'm like, "What do you mean use those chips?" And he says, "Well." I wanted the salt, but I didn't want to eat them, so he put them in his mouth, sucked the salt off, and then spat them into a bowl. So I ate a bunch of chips that was already sucked on by my grandpa, um, and that was really disgusting. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, commentary is coming to an end, so please, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like and a comment, and um, I will hopefully be doing more of these soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.